During the Triassic period, when ecosystems were rebuilding after the mass extinction at the end of the Permian, a diverse group of scythe-like plants began to spread across the continents of the Northern Hemisphere. Among them, Nilsonia was one of the most distinctive. Its leaves were long, narrow, and strap-shaped, with a clean pattern of parallel veins running from the central rachis to the margin. But the real diagnostic feature that sets Nilsonia apart from other Mesozoic foliage is the way its leaf lamina attached on the upper, or adaxial, surface of the midrib a characteristic seen clearly in fossil slabs from Asia, Europe, and the Americas. These plants belonged to the extinct family Nilsoniaceae and carried reproductive structures that were just as characteristic. Male organs, known as androstrobus, were slender cones composed of tightly arranged microsporophylls, while female structures, called benia, bore compact and often peltate sporophylls that protected developing seeds. Both types of reproductive organs grew near the bases of the leaves rather than emerging from the woody trunk, a detail that helps paleobotanists recognize Nilsonia in the fossil record. The plant itself likely formed small shrubs or modest tree-like forms with a simple stem and a crown of radiating leaves, a growth habit that allowed it to thrive in warm, seasonal climates across low to mid-latitudes. During the Triassic and early Jurassic, Nilsonia had an impressive geographic range. Stretching across Europe, China, Siberia, North America, and even parts of Australia. Its leaves appear in large quantities in many formations, showing that it played a significant role in the mid-story vegetation of Mesozoic forests dominated by conifers and early cycads. As climates shifted in the late Jurassic, Nilsonia populations contracted toward higher latitudes, eventually surviving into the Cretaceous in regions like Siberia before disappearing. Despite this decline, the genus represents a crucial chapter in the evolution and diversification of gymnosperms. Nilsonia's distinctive leaf architecture, reproductive biology, and wide distribution help scientists understand how plants adapted to the changing climates of the Mesozoic world. Every fossil leaf with parallel veins and that unique adaxial attachment carries a trace of this Triassic survivor.